Guys, Goku's training is on fire, and his battle against the Namekians, something is going to happen, and Goku is going to fall on top of Yamochi, but it looks like she's going to let it, and you're going to see everything now. But before we start, let's hit the goal of 3,000 likes. As soon as we hit this goal, I'll bring the next episode in sequence, so grab a bucket of popcorn and your soda, and subscribe to the channel, and come with me! In the seventh universe. Currently in the seventh universe, more precisely in the training arena of the village where Yamoshi lived, Goku and Vegeta transformed into Super Saiyan God first stage. At that moment, they were facing two Namekians called Benimaru and Kinaru, who were also transformed. Goku and Vegeta felt the divine energy that was being emanated from the body of those two Namekians who possessed the power of the deity. Benimaru and Kinaru possessed a divine energy similar to Yuhiko's but it was very weak considering their power level. Further away from the arena was Yuhiko and Yamoshi who were talking about a subject that made Yamoshi sad because it was connected to her past and the person she had loved in the past and who now once again started to move which left Yamoshi scared and angry at the same time. Yamoshi said, Why did that damn thing start moving again so suddenly? That guy shouldn't go back to destroying everything in his path for no reason. Why did he go back to doing that? said the ancestor of the Saiyans while clenching her fists irritated. Yamoshi had to remain calm enough not to let her power be released because the energy released from a Saiyan who is angry is higher than normal. Yuhiko spoke, You know the answer to your question, Yamoshi. He returned because of you. When you decided to show some of your power to those two Saiyans, some of your power ended up going outside the barrier. I don't know if you remember, but you had defeated that man with a lizard body years ago but he had managed to run off the planet and you left a trail of energy in his body. And when you decided to release your power by sheer will, you must have made the energy that was in that guy's body awaken like a small flame. And that was enough for that monster to feel her power and go to that planet and like all the other planets he ended up destroying everything and everyone he saw on that planet. Yuhiko spoke with a very serious expression on her face and at the same time she had a cold expression because she knew that the person responsible for having destroyed an entire race should be Hiroki. Because that was his way of acting and Yuhiko had already seen that several times, then she would be able to recognize it very well. Yamoshi said, So it means that once again Hiroki destroyed an entire planet just because of me? How many more times will this happen again? How many planets and people will be destroyed because of his blind desire for revenge? How many more families will cry because of my lack of courage to eliminate Hiroki in the past? Yamoshi spoke in a sad tone. She was irritated for being weak enough to not be able to finish off Hiroki when it was possible in the past. Yuiko said, Don't blame yourself so much, Yamoshi. You know that bastard will do everything to make you go after him, and he will use this pure heart of yours to take you to him. So don't blame yourself so much. But I must say that you were quite an idiot for releasing your own energy to show those two how strong you are. You could have done it another way, but it's already done. So there's no point in blaming yourself, because that will only hurt yourself." Said the old woman while looking at her longtime friend, who just sighed heavily, but soon Yamoshi put a smile on her face. Yamoshi said, You're right, I'm not responsible for the bad things Hiroki has done over the years, and will do in the future. I just hope that in the future someone can stop Hiroki, and maybe it could be one of these two Saiyans. Yamoshi said turning around and looking at Goku and Vegeta, who were facing Benimaru and Kinaru. Yuhiko spoke, Those two? Hiroki is stronger than me. Those two Saiyans aren't even half as strong as us, even using all the power they have. So I don't think it would be a good idea to pin your hopes on Goku and Vegeta. Yuhiko spoke while looking at Goku and Vegeta, knowing that these two didn't even have half the power that Yuhiko possessed, and Hiroki is stronger than the Namekian Elder. Yamoshi said, I know that. Goku and Vegeta can't hurt me in their current state, but I'm going to train those two Saiyans so that they master the true power of the Super Saiyan God. And after Goku and Vegeta finish off that Frieza guy, I'm going to make them both kill Hiroki. I train the two Saiyans without asking anything in return. When they complete their objective, I will offer them the chance to be even more powerful. But in exchange, Goku and Vegeta will have to eliminate Hiroki, and they will do that for sure. After all, they are Saiyans and we Saiyans like to fight and get stronger. And I'm sure Vegeta and Goku will want to get stronger." Said the Saiyan ancestor while looking at Goku and Vegeta with a slight smile on her face. Yamoshi remembered her past when she attended the academy on the Saiyan planet. Yuhiko spoke. 
So you're already planning how you're going to put an end to this once and for all? Well, if you really do that, you will be putting an end to what haunts you about your past. I think it will work, after all. You Saiyans managed to evolve quickly, and even if Goku and Vegeta do not have enough power to defeat Hiroki alone, they will be able to defeat them together using the two Saiyans called Fusion, I think. That's the name of the technique that the Angel Wiz told me about. Yuhiko spoke while bringing up one of her hands to her chin in a thoughtful way because she didn't exactly know what it was called, the name of Goku and Vegeta's ultimate technique. Yamoshi said, That's true. If they had used that fusion, they could have even broken your barrier without you having weakened it. But Hiroki doesn't know that technique, so if they face each other, Goku and Vegeta could end up winning against Hiroki. And with that, the same end, Vegeta would give Frieza, he would give to Hiroki. Yamoshi spoke with a more excited tone, because she would be able to train those two to finally end one of the biggest mistakes of Yamoshi's past. Yuhiko said, Well, have you thought about what you're going to do after Hiroki is eliminated? Because I know that you still hadn't gotten married or even dated for fear of Hiroki finding out and going after the person you like. But if he's eliminated, that won't have any chance of happening. Yuhiko asked while looking at her friend, who ended up bringing both her hands to the top of her head. Yamoshi said, I don't know yet, but I know that after Hiroki stopped being a burden on my life, I'm going to start living it for real. Maybe I'll try to find someone to form a new life with. Maybe I'll continue to live as free as I currently do, or I'll do something else. Now, until today, I never really thought about what I would do if I wasn't afraid of what Hiroki might do anymore. But when time comes, I'll figure out how to move on with my life. Yamoshi said while looking at the sky, and Yuhiko seeing that just sighed. Yuhiko thought, As usual, you can't see a future with anyone or any family in your future. But after Hiroki disappears, maybe you'll be able to live your life the way you really want to, and the way you really deserve. I just hope the future is kind to you, old friend, thought the old woman while looking at the sky with Yamoshi. Yuhiko and Yamoshi looked at the sky calmly. None of them noticed the direction of Goku and Vegeta's confrontation with Benimaru and Kinaru. But soon a big explosion happened. And with that, Goku and Vegeta ended up being thrown in the direction of Yuhiko and Yamoshi, who only realized what was happening when both Saiyans fell on their bodies. When the women were able to realize what was happening, they saw that Goku had fallen over Yamoshi's body, with his face in the middle of the chest of the Saiyan ancestor, and Vegeta had fallen between Yuhiko's legs, who upon realizing this ended up feeling ashamed, and Yamoshi just smirked. Yamoshi spoke, You guys got bolder all of a sudden. Yamoshi spoke provocatively while Yuhiko was embarrassed. Yuhiko said, I'm going to kill you two perverted monkeys. Yuhiko said irritatedly as she got up quickly and at the same time released her aura making Goku and Vegeta run away in fear of being beaten by the old woman who started running after them. With that, we end today's video. If you want to see the continuation of this incredible story, leave a lot of likes in the video and comment. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you another day, guys.